welcome to our home. Today we're going to show you how you can incorporate some antiques in with new furniture to give your home some style and character. Here we have a drop leaf duck and five table from the early 1900s and it came over from anyone. I got this in Savannah and I've incorporated it into my foyer to add style and character along with this Chippendale carved mirror bevel to add style. <clears throat> You'll come on around, I'll show you the antique dining table. If you'll notice underneath we have a it has a large bell pe pedestal with sturdy feet, hand carved wood, and hand carved wood all around the table. Solid walnut and was made in 1910. It has the date uh, tag underneath the table that gives you that. Of course, a lot of the chairs, the older chairs, will break over time, and these are newer chairs. They're more of a vintage Chippendale style that I've added to the antique table. As you can see, you can mix styles and even colors of furniture to give your house character and style. If you'll come on around, I'll show you one of the chairs that I have. This chair goes with the table and it's original to the table. It has a hand carved back and arms and it was made in 1910. In our country French house we have toile, borders, wallpaper, and fabric and also the wrought iron chandelier which is typical of country French and then I have the Toile China Spode, made in England, that goes with that. And on this Toile, we have the Toile wallpaper. And I've added some antique plates. These are called Flow Blue. They have the Flow Blue pattern. And also, I have one Spode plate in the middle add character to that. Most of these pieces, a lot of them are, are the newer furniture, the sofa, the coffee table, but the two wing chairs are antique Chippendale wing chairs that have been recovered with the same fabric colors that I use in this room. This is an antique secretary made in the early 1900s, the same period as the dining table. It's a Chippendale style, has the carved top, glass doors, and inside the secretary you can see the carved piece here that fits in, that holds your letter and the small drawers. Very nice craftsmanship in this table, in this uh, secretary. You also have the uh, floor front drawers and the ball and cloth feet. In this curio, which is a new piece, but inside the curio it's all antique crystal and cut glass. And I think that's a way to make a very nice statement in your home. To use all the same kind of, of glassware or pottery or china together makes a very nice statement in, in a cabinet. I also use the um, Velvet valances and silk drapes, which go well with the uh, antiques and the dark wood. 
we have our artwork that matches the colors of the room, but also I like to bring the outside in. We have a huge magnolia outside the window that bloom with these very same kind of drops of uh, flowers, so I incorporate this into the room to bring the outside in, the old magnolia tree. It's probably 40 years old. And then in the china cabinet, I have the, the uh, Spode china. This is called Blue Italian. It's made in England. And it goes well with the country French design. In country French, you use a lot of the wrought iron pieces. I have the little wrought iron serving table here in the dining room which matches the tray, wrought iron tray, and the chandelier all go together. <clears throat> okay. Hi, this is our country French kitchen. We have the plain front cupboards with the wrought iron pulls the cabinets. They're done in a cream color and if you'll notice the border it's one of the original country French designs. We have the antique copper backsplash which you'll all see, also see a lot of copper in your country French. And if you'll come over here in the breakfast area, I'll show you. These are farmhouse pieces from the early 1900s. They're solid oak pieces. This is the square farmhouse table. It has the chunky carved legs. And you can see the grooves where they put the legs together. And these are the farmhouse style chairs with a carved back. I have the solid oak washstand with the antique bevel mirror and the carved top. This is from the early 1900s also. And the cute little farmhouse hutch. And inside it, I have the Metlock Poppy Trail Pottery, sculptured grape, which is vintage. And then I have the copper pieces incorporated into that. The toile window treatments, stick blinds, and yellow and white check wall covering. I also have this cute little wicker love seat in the kitchen which is nice to sit on. You can pull it up to the table and have extra seating. And have the 12 pillows on it that match the wall covering. On this side you can see how I've incorporated pictures of things you love like a cute little tea set in the blue and white. I have the hand painted tray with a rabbit design, which is very country French. And a cute little rabbit on the table. The small lamps that add character and lighting, special lighting. And the ceramic tile floor, too, is indicative of the country French design. <clears throat> 